It's Thursday, April 16th. I haven't put anything on here in a few days. I thought it would be a good chance to do that today. Uh, yesterday I was listening to a podcast and the, the different hosts were joking back and forth about what day is it? Well, you know, it's it's today. The only days that matter right now are yesterday and today and tomorrow. They're the only three days we have. And someone else was joking that it is now day. It will be night. Then it will be day again. And, you know, there's the whole Groundhog Day. We're just waking up and going through the same day over and over again. And, and I get that. Boy, I feel the same way. I, I feel like I'm missing so many of the normal markers that I have about what I'm doing when and what's going on. And in the middle of all that, I think it's really good to remind us that that's not really what we believe. We really actually believe something different. We, we believe that history is actually headed somewhere. And that because of that, your life is headed somewhere. We're, Christianity is a faith that does not believe in an endless cycle that doesn't believe that we're going around this great cosmic wheel or that everything that has come will come again. We believe that history is moving and it's moving toward a goal, that, that we're part of a great narrative that has a beginning in creation, in the garden, in the fall, and that unfolds throughout history as God continues to interact with, with individuals and with families and eventually with Israel and then with all kinds of people in and around Israel, including the nations around them, and then then in Jesus, and then the apostles and the rest of the early church, and then on through through all the centuries and through all the nations, we're part of a really big story. And we have a faith that is rooted in things that historically happen. Not not just not just mythological ideas, although there certainly are mythic in a whole, that's a whole different topic for a different conversation. But there are mythic elements to the, the journey and the story that God unfolds. But these are not mythological events. These are events that really happened. They're events that are really happening. And this is a God who continues to reveal himself in history. We are headed somewhere, guys. And we've come from somewhere. And the events that happen day after day after day really do matter. So I just want to encourage us to, to remember that we're part of a story, part of a narrative. And part of that is continuing to go back to the story. Continue to go back and do things that connect you to the history of God's people. So let's read the book. Continue to read the book. See where what God has done might connect to what he is doing. See where what God is doing might connect to what he will do. Now, regardless of how you see what's happening in, in terms of the end times, and I'm always fairly cautious with my end times interpretations, we do believe there will be an end time. We do believe that we are headed toward a grand culmination of history as, as Jesus descends from heaven and recreates the heaven and the earth, and we begin a new narrative. Or maybe, as, as C.S. Lewis says, all this has just been a false step before the real beginning. But it's a step that's important. So read the book. See what it says about the narrative. Read church history. Because this is not the first time that the church has confronted epidemics. This is not the first time that the church has confronted economic uncertainty. Christians have been dealing with this for hundreds and hundreds of years. See how they've done it. Maybe that'll help you find your place in the story. And two, we participate in the story. It's one of the reasons that we do dip in and out of the lectionary. It reminds us that we're part of a story with rhythms. It's part of the liturgical practices that we have during the year with, with Advent and Christmas Eve and Christmas and Lent and Easter and Pentecost. We are participating in a great drama that, yes, has cycles in it, but they're not endless cycles. They're headed somewhere. So today may feel like you are kind of in an endless cycle. It may feel a lot like yesterday, but it's not. I just want to encourage you today Remember that your life and our life together is headed somewhere. God is taking us to somewhere. We're part of this great story, so live your part of the story today. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. God bless.